create chat completion it's creating the post and it's sent to gmail and linkedin it was successful this is my linkedin account see my latest post just up okay so friends today i'll teach you how to create automation using meek.com let's understand first what is ai automation when we talk about automation you can connect multiple ai applications and build an automatic workflow for example suppose you want ai to search for ai news at a fixed day or time or multiple times a day and send it to your gmail or whatsapp you can do that automatically another example is you like an article or online post you can just copy it paste the link in a sheet and it will summarize and automatically post it to your linkedin it can automatically crawl the web gather relevant customer leads according to your criteria and email it to you daily for content creators it can automatically create youtube shorts and post them to your instagram or youtube that workflow is possible too popular automation tools include make.com anaten zapier and others you can create automations using these ai automation workflows ai agents and agentic ai are three different things that is out of the scope of this video so i'll not cover it now in this video we'll cover ai automation only the first step to building ai automation is planning right suppose i want a workflow that automatically creates a post from an internet article and post it to my linkedin or instagram or facebook to build such a workflow you first need a google sheet to store the urls to summarize the article you will need an ai perplexity or chat gpt are the options i'll use perplexity for post creation we can use chat gpt or cloud that's fine then we will send the post to gmail linkedin facebook instagram etc wherever you want okay now let's move to make.com this is make.com website open google chrome type make.com and it will load you can log in or click get started for free i have already created an account you can sign up directly with google click create account or sign in with google i signed in with google because i already had an account now you can see my make.com's user interface to create an automation workflow go to scenarios on the left hand side and click scenarios i have already created some scenarios let me show you i previously made automatic posting to social media and gmail and showed a demo video also to you that is the workflow we built earlier today i'll build, build it in front of you step by step so that you can understand it more clearly okay first we will click create scenarios i clicked create scenario what now the first item is the trigger which starts the automation as we saw in the presentation we first need to use google sheet why because if i like an article online i'll copy it and want it summarized right so you must store the link somewhere so that ai can access it for that we will use google sheets i clicked on the google sheets you will see various modules you can search for modules to use as you practice make.com more you will understand which module to pick when you click google sheets you will see several sub modules as well there is an add a row module and a watch new row modules okay watch new rows means it will detect anything you paste into the google sheet that matches our requirement so we will use watch new rows now we must connect our account my google account is already connected but i'll show you again click sign in with google select your gmail account and continue it will verify the connection and appear as my google connection for search method we'll use search by path it will search according to that path now where's the sheet in my drive i created the google sheet inside my drive only let me show you this is my google drive i created a new google sheet named make test the sheet headings are url topic date you can include topic date or just the url either works you can paste urls in rows first url second url third url so and so forth 
click click here to choose file since your drive is connected you will see folders and files select make test file this module can now access the make test file which you have created in your google sheet sorry google drive now which sheet contains data sheet 1 contains the data sheet 2 is blank so select sheet 1 keep the header option as yes by default it will check headers from a1 to z1 leave that as it is change the limit to 1 so it runs one row at a time when the module executes i saved it now the module asks for the sheet id how to find that the long string after d in the sheet url is the sheet id but we will not use search by id option we will use choose manually the reason is my first url is already pasted in the sheet and i will start from that so that automation knows where to begin okay because i don't want the system to scan the entire sheet and process every time i paste another url okay instead each trigger should check the next unprocessed url only if the first url has already been posted so it should skip it and move to the next if the second is already pasted it should skip and that too if the second is already posted it should skip that too and go to the third that is why i selected manual choose put your first url there and save not saved next we want to summarize the link now who will do the summarization we can use the chat gpt or perplexity i chose perplexity because its web crawling capability is strong chat gpt sometimes struggles to crawl links directly perplexity handles it well right so we'll be using perplexity so we will add another module which is perplexity I search for it and edit it. It offers sub modules like make an API call and create chat completion. We need create chat completion for summarization. Add it to the perplexity module. It will ask for an API key. An API key is an application programming interface key. In simple terms, it lets make.com access your perplexity account to give prompt and fetch the results okay so that is why it is required where do we get it here we need to go to our perplexity account then go to api keys i have already had an api key for previous automation i can create a new key or copy the existing one i copied it and pasted it back in the make.com in make.com please understand one thing calling api is not free it will be charged in API billing, you need to add a minimum of $5. The best part is if you have the paid perplexity plan or got it through some or the other offer, it may give you $5 free credit. So you can use that $5 in free. Okay. So we added the API. Which model did we choose? You can choose different models. Sonar, R1, whatever. I selected Sonar because it is more cost economical now we will enter the message now what is the message here we need to put our prompt for perplexity like what it should do so we will write summarize the link given here now when i clicked it it automatically showed options from the previous module to select what to use the url option is my url the Google Sheets module fetched this URL from my sheet. So I will summarize the URL here with summarize the link given here. Role, I set it to the user for now. Maximum tokens. Tokens are like words. Though not exactly, a big word may be of two tokens and so on and so forth. So set the maximum tokens to 2000. It will use only what it needs. Don't worry about that, right? Leave temperature and other settings as they are. Then save it. That completes the perplexity link summary module. Now I have the summary. Next, I need to add the chat GPT module. 
here the objective is you want to create the linkedin post from the previous summary so either you use the chat gpt module which will again ask for the api key and separate subscription and another dollify so to avoid that we will use perplexity module again to avoid the extra cost create a chat completion module again add it paste the same api key and save okay it's saved now my api key would be used twice in this workflow but that's completely okay because it costs very less keep the model as sonar and in messages i'll write the full prompt and it has to be written properly how the prompt should look like i'll write act like a digital marketer so and so forth i'm pasting this whole prompt here i will give this prompt in the description so don't worry about that okay so what i did i wrote a prompt and pasted it here for you inside it i added some conditions because sometimes the output that goes to your gmail or linkedin can come in a weird format so i made instructions clear i said act like a digital marketing expert etc etc it's as simple as that you can do it by yourself too it's not that difficult but for ease i will provide the prompt in the description box as well now we need to select the summary output the one from the previous perplexity module where did the last module put the answer we go to choices messages content that is our answer or output it created a summary from the link okay see it will change every time it's a variable i put the choice there roll again user max tokens 2000 temperature doesn't matter keep it mild professional blank whatever save it now this module is saved now i have two options i can post directly to linkedin or i can send it to my gmail to approve and then post to linkedin or i can do both steps simultaneously right here i want it to send the created post simultaneously to my gmail and linkedin both right for that i will add a router a router sends things in two directions at a time see it splits into two so it will work that way now what will we do with that post i want it in my gmail so i will add a gmail client in gmail client i will choose send an email i clicked send an email this is a bit complicated but i will tell you how it's done let's come back to this module a bit later let's first add the linkedin module very fast I have added LinkedIn module and it's already verified for my account. We will add create a user text post module. Now, what you are supposed to do? Add your LinkedIn. It's simple, like adding Google Sheets. Enter ID, passwords, set connection type to LinkedIn, name it my LinkedIn connection, and save. It's easily added. Now, which content will be posted here on our LinkedIn? We need to tell this to the module. Remember the second perplexity module had created the post for me. I will go to choices, messages, and paste that content. That's it. Leave everything else as it is. Set visibility to public and save. Now the module is ready. Now let's go back to Gmail. If you have a Google for Business, then there is no problem. But if you want to add a personal Gmail account. you need to get the client id and client secret from your google console so what will we do this needs a bit more work i clicked sign in with google and entered my account and continued you might think it's added but it gives an error to save it I must go to advanced settings and add client ID and client secret. You get these from your Google console. Now, how to get these client ID and secret key from console? I will create a separate module or video for how to get them. Otherwise, this video would be very long. 
I will make a separate video showing how to get the client ID and client secret from Google Console. It's not very difficult, but will take about five minutes of your time. So I have entered the client ID and client secret here. Then I will sign in with Google. If you really want to know how to find the client ID and secret, please comment Google in the comment section. If I get sufficient requests, I'll make a separate video on it. After entering the client ID and client secret, just continue and now it is connected. Now who will get the mail of the post you created? You can send it to anyone, but here I will send it to myself. I can send it uh, from this email to my own address or to another Gmail ID so that every time a LinkedIn post is created, it will also go to my Gmail. What will the subject be? I'll put your LinkedIn new post. You can put anything, no problem. Again, which content will be sent? Same as before, go to the previous perplexity module choices and take the output. You can see previous modules here. Paste the variable content. It will change each time a new post is created by perplexity. So I just go there and paste it in content. I saved. Now the module is ready. Now it's time for testing. We can run it once or schedule it at regular intervals every 15 minutes, every day or Tuesdays and times like every Monday, every Tuesday that we can decide or we can set it to on demand. Whenever we want it, it will run. Now we need to activate it. The scenario is scheduled, but not activated. I activated the scenario. It said scenario not saved because we hadn't saved it. So I clicked save. Now our scenario is saved. Let's run it once to check. The module ran. Perplexity is running. Create chat completion. It's creating the post. And it's sent to Gmail and LinkedIn. It was successful. So let's check my Gmail. Did the mail arrive? to you. I'll show it to you. Let's open my Gmail account. Your LinkedIn new post. See, it arrived just now. You can check the time. I didn't do anything and it came, right? It posted the future of AI, Jeffrey Hinton, Godfather of AI recently, etc, etc. That was the post AI has created for me. Now let's check the LinkedIn. This is my LinkedIn account. See, my latest post just appeared. The full text, hashtags, everything is there. This is how it is done. If you like my tutorial, please like and share with your friends. Thank you very much.